On November the 12th, 2014, the Rosetta mission landed a probe on a comet 500 million kilometers from Earth. In the year that followed, the Rosetta spacecraft streamed back mountains of data from comet churyumov gerasimenko also known as 67P. And the scientists back home have made some amazing discoveries. Rosetta scientists were expecting a dull potato-shaped comet. What they got was a dusty ice ball shaped like a rubber duck. So how did it end up like this? Photos of eroded patches on the surface revealed onion-like layers of dust and ice. These concentric layers surround two different centre points, one in each lobe of the comet. This suggests that the comet was formed from the collision of two smaller fragments, hence its peculiar shape. Huge jets of gas pouring out of the icy comet give clues to its age. Rosetta has been able to analyse the different gases in these jets, many of which would have been trapped inside from when the comet first formed. The way the gases are released, all mixed together, point to the comet being made of a certain kind of ice. This could only have been formed in extremely cold conditions, perhaps even before the solar system began. This is just one of a number of observations which hint that 67P may be very old indeed. Comets are mostly made of ice, and there's a long-standing theory that it was comets that brought water to planet Earth. But the water vapour coming off 67P isn't like ours at all. Compared to normal H2O on Earth, a lot of the hydrogen atoms in 67P's water have an extra neutron, making them deuterium. The ratio of hydrogen to deuterium doesn't match Earth's at all, meaning that wherever our vast oceans came from, it wasn't comets like 67P. A year's worth of data from Rosetta has answered a lot of questions, but the mission's not over yet, and there's plenty still left to learn. Density measurements show that 67P is surprisingly light and fluffy. But despite being less dense than styrofoam, the surface is rock hard. So hard that Rosetta's probe bounced off it and couldn't even crack it with a hammer. Can we work out how 67P can at the same time be fluffy like snow and hard as solid ice? There aren't a lot of oxygen molecules in outer space, which is why it was such a surprise to find so many coming out of 67P. How all that O2 ended up there is still a mystery, but finding it could change our ideas about how the solar system formed. Scientists had previously studied a comet called Hartley 2, which is in a similar orbit to 67P. But the water on Hartley 2 has a very different ratio of deuterium to hydrogen compared to the water on 67P. So even though they ended up close together, did these sister comets perhaps start out in completely different places? With all these questions, there's a lot to keep Rosetta busy. The spacecraft has less than a year left before its journey ends with a dramatic crash on the surface of the comet. But that's still plenty of time for Rosetta to teach us even more about Comet 67P.